Hey guys, Epic Caleb Bro here. I'm at the shop. About to put some threaded inserts into the box. Hopefully it turns out well and nice. So these guys are made to screw in the back or you can screw in the top. Um, I was watching a video and it said um, if your sub is mounted on a horizontal facing up, then it's best to uh, screw from the top. But if it's facing vertical or it's facing towards the trunk, and it's best to screw it through the back. In the back should look something like this. It allows you to put special mach machine screws in it. This is a 1024 um, threaded wooded threaded insert. And this is a 1024 one inch. If your um, thing is three quarters of an inch, then one inch might be the best or an inch and a half. See, so I gotta get through this wood just to get to that machine screw right here. See, so this is not that much. It's maybe like half an inch, but yeah. All right, guys, machine screw is all set in there. I'm not sure if you guys can see that, but I have done the machine screw through the subwoofer box and apparently it supports the hold of the subwoofer even more also so that you can also take your subwoofer out and service it if need be um a lot of people like to do this to make it more to make it more professional because once you use a drywall screw it may not um be as strong as it going back in to the uh wood the first time once you take it out to service it um my next couple mods i'm probably gonna do a uh secondary battery because 14.5 volts yes but i still got it half tilt and i've tried already putting it down here and it will bump really loud but then it won't bump at 14.4 volts it'll drop all the way down to 13.2 so i'm gonna put a secondary battery in there try to hide it as good as possible maybe put it in the back of the subwoofer box or under the spare tire i'm still debating you guys will see that though um on my next video i'll show you guys some videos of me bumping to it on half tilt and then future preferences maybe two or three months from now you guys would then see me um bump it full tilt 14.5 volts it just needs 14.4 volts though for a thousand watt rms i hope you guys like and subscribe if you guys like the video you know just give the video a thumbs up and this is Caleb, Epic Caleb, bruh, peace out.